G'day guys, it's Peter from My Bonzer Channel with this week's Laughaholics. But before we get into that, don't forget to uh, subscribe if you haven't already, to um, click that bell and to hit all so that you don't miss out on future updates. Okay, today's Laughaholics all about Irish jokes. We'll start off with uh, Paddy. They're all about Paddy, aren't they? Paddy's mate gets hit by a car, so Paddy calls for an ambulance. Get an ambulance here quick. He's bleeding from his nose and ears, and I think he's broken both his legs. The operator replies, What's your location, sir? Paddy replies, Outside number 28, Eucalyptus Street. And the operator says, How do you spell that, sir? Then for the next few minutes, all the operator hears is heavy breathing. Are you there, sir? asks the operator. But all he hears is more heavy breathing. Another minute later, and the operator again says, Sir, can you hear me? Again, there's nothing but more heavy breathing. The operator, somewhat worried, Sir, please answer me. Can you still hear me? Finally, Paddy replies, Yes. <laughs> Sorry about that. I couldn't spell eucalyptus, so I had to drag him around to number three, Oak Street. Okay, now for Irish joke number two. Paddy and Mick are two Irishmen working at the local sawmill. One day, Mick slips and his arm gets caught and severed by the big bench saw. Paddy quickly puts the limb in a plastic bag and rushes it and Mick to the local hospital. Next day, Paddy goes to the hospital and asks after Mick. The nurse says, oh, he's out in rehab exercising. Paddy couldn't believe it. But there's Mick, out the back, exercising his now reattached arm. The very next day, he's back at work in the sawmill. A couple of days go by, and then Mick slips and severs his leg on another bloody big saw. So Paddy puts the limb in a plastic bag and rushes it and Mick off to the hospital. Next day, he calls in to see him and asks the nurse how he is. The nurse replies, he's out in the rehab again, exercising. And sure enough, there's Mick out there doing some serious work on the treadmill. And very soon, Mick comes back to work. But as usual, within a couple of days, he has another accident and lops off his head. Really, Paddy puts the head in a plastic bag and transports it and Mick to the hospital. Next day, he goes in and asks the nurse how Mick is. The nurse breaks down and cries and says, He's dead! Paddy is shocked, but not surprised. I suppose the saw finally did him in? No, says the nurse. Some dopey bastard put his head in a plastic bag and he suffocated. <laughs> That's it, guys. I hope you liked this week's Laughaholics. Don't forget to share it with your friends so they get a bit of a giggle as well. It's Peter from My Bonzer Channel signing off and hope to see you next week. Catch you later, guys.